Hey Brandify Beauties, this is the Beauty Guru to you here and my oh my, this is our first video. Um, I'm very excited to show this to you. I'm a little nervous because this is me without makeup and no one really ever sees me without makeup. So on today we are doing the Mineral Veil Primer from Hourglass Cosmetics, which costs I think about $54. And we are doing it compared to the NYX Angel Veil, which costs between probably like six or seven dollars. So that's a big significant difference. A lot of people seem to say that these are comparable to one another. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a whirl and see what happens. So on this side of the face, we are going to start with the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Now there is a little bit of a rumor that people tend to say that this is a waterproof primer. Now when I worked in the beauty industry in New York City, a lot of my friends would swear by this in the summer and they would say it makes you sweat proof. Now it is going to go to a matte finish, but this one I will say does have your SPF in it and it has SPF 15. And with this primer, a little goes a long ways. I'm making sure I'm really working into my skin. And I only took a little bit, like a pea-sized drop, and I'm really, really, really working it in. So there we have it, and that was the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Now on this side, we are going to do the Angel Veil by NYX Cosmetics. So I am going to start with that. Let's get it open because this is a brand new, see you guys, brand new. I have not used this before. So I'm going to do a little bit. That's probably a little too much, but I'm actually just doing that to show you on camera. So that is what that one looks like. And the veil actually looks like this. So together, if you look at them. And rub them in. They're both kind of comparable to one another. With the veil, I'm going to go ahead and remember I took a little much more than you really need. And I'm actually going to work it into my skin. Yes, honey. All right, guys. And I have to put it on my neck because, guys, I'm three different shades, literally. So I just have to make things work. All right. Now next, I am going to take my own personal concealer just because this is my personal favorite one that I have to use. Um, so I'm going to just conceal this little boo-boo right here. I'm going to do a little under the orbital area. And I might take a little right here. And that concealer is, it's one of my faves. So it is a prestige brand and it's actually called the Pure 4-in-1 Disappearing Ink. Um, right now, this is the only concealer I can use that's been working with my skin personally, um, but I'm trying more to see what does well. I'm going to take my Real Techniques sponge, and I'm actually going to blend that very gently. Same thing right up here, and then right where that third eye is growing is what I like to call that today. She's going away, thank goodness. And then right under here... Perfect. Now I do use the Beauty Blender too. However, I've been leaning more toward this one lately um, because I actually dispose of these more frequently and it's actually been changing my skin for the better. My Beauty Blender was my best friend until I did an experiment, which I'll have to show you guys one day um, on the app. All right, so there we go. We got that. Yes, we're concealed and um, now we're going to move on to foundation. So we are actually looking at two awesome foundations today. We're going to start out with the Hourglass. And it is the Immaculate Foundation. Both go to a matte finish. And then this is also um, the Stay Matte by Rimmel. So like I said earlier, both are going to a matte finish. Now for me, I do have combo skin. Sometimes I do like a more of a matte finish if I'm like going to wear extreme highlighter or something or if it's a million degrees outside and I know I'm going to sweat bullets but a lot of the times I kind of go for a demi matte finish but I wanted to try these um, just because I've been sweating up a storm lately um, especially in the environment I work in under these hot lights so we're going to start with the Hourglass Immaculate the 
I actually went with the color beige in the Hourglass Immaculate. So this is going to be a mattifying oil-free formula. And we're going to just take a little, see it's brand new guys. Let's get this little plasticky thing off. So for me, I'm kind of that person that uses a little goes a long ways. Um, so I am going to take my Real Technique sponge once more. And sorry, I'm reaching on my side table. And I'm just going to blend. And notice how I'm starting in the center of my face for the most part. That is actually where you want the most coverage. And the outers tend to be where you need the least amount of coverage. But for me, this guru, he needs a lot of coverage. Mm-hmm. I am going to go back and I'm going to take another drop of it because I want a little more coverage. And then I'm going to show you guys a little trick I do because like I said, I'm a million different shades. So I have to really even things out. Okay, I'm kind of like really loving the feel of this. It doesn't feel heavy. I am worried because I did put a little under my eyes, so I am probably going to crease there. Okay, now I'm going to take my, um, so, excuse me, my Ulta Beauty Collection brush, and I actually have to blend my neck because I don't want to have a line. And then I take it a little bit on top of what I blend it with the Beauty Blender to give it a little more coverage. To me personally, I'm kind of feeling that this is like a, almost a medium coverage product, maybe light to medium. It is covering everything I want and you can sheer it out. So for those that like less is more, you can totally get the less is more. And I'm gonna grab my mirror, guys. And I can't lie, I'm looking at this up close. I'm actually loving the finish of this. Um, I do shave every day, so I have a little bit of texture. So it is kind of accentuating the texture a little bit, but that's what you get with a matte product. Unless it's a blurring matte product that has like, say like Nylon 12 or something in it. So, here we go. Mm, I mean, so far, I like it. I can't say I'm in love with it. Uh, for $54, I don't honestly think I would spend that much money on this. So, let's actually go ahead and on this side, we're going to do the Rimmel, which was only like $5.97 or so. Um, Amazon and Walgreens actually are two great places for this foundation. So let's go ahead and do this half of the face. The color I chose there was the 305 Buff. I'm a little worried because I'm one of those skin tones I'm very hard to match, even for myself as an artist. And we're going to grab our Real Technique sponge again, and we're just going to blend... And this time I'm going to use my mirror. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my mirror. And I do put foundation on my lids myself. Um, that's just because I'll build up a little more concealer on there before I do my actual eyeshadows. So they stick. You see that, guys? What do we think? Okay. 
Let's see something. Let's adjust our lighting just a little bit. All right. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be very honest. Um, the Rimmel, I'm not fully impressed with. It is a close dupe because they both feel about the same. They do give you, as I'm looking in the mirror, um, the same kind of finish. So they are really actually great dupes. The color-wise, they're very close to one another. I feel, though, the Rimmel's a little more drying on my skin. But we're going to do the neck because that's actually the real test. And this is my Ulta Beauty um, Oval Blending Brush. It's a paddle brush. You can also check out the review. Um, I actually did one, and it was against this in the Artiste brush, and I actually used both of them. Yes, they're dirty, because I've been using them like crazy. Um, I'm going to be very honest. The paddle brush by Ulta actually did beat out the Artiste. However, I like this one for my liquids, and I do love the Artiste one only for powders. So I will say I've been very, very pleased I did on my review say that the Ulta brush beat out the Artiste, which is the truth for a liquid. So keep that in mind. So if you're looking for a good liquid one and you can't afford to invest, this is a great one um, if they still have it in Ulta. You know how the beauty industry is. They're always changing things. Okay, so when we take a look back, we're taking a step back. Now, you're probably wondering why I look so golden. I go more golden based on my foundations because I build powder and bronzer and highlight on top of mine. Also, I have very neutral skin tone, but it's like very hard for me to even match myself. So I'm always just adjusting accordingly. Every day I wake up, I'm a different shade. I call it the mixed kid curse. All right, so there we go. That actually looks pretty good. You can still see a little bit of the redness of my skin. So I'm going to definitely go back over with some powder to blend that out. I'm also going to take my Real Technique sponge one more time, and I'm just going to really, really blend things. I'm kind of happy, too, because when I grab my mirror and I look, that little boo-boo, even though you can still see it, it looks great in the mirror. And it's not as red. So I will be very honest. The hourglass was on that boo-boo, and I like the coverage it did there. As I'm letting it sit too, a couple of things I'm noticing is the Rimmel has made me super, super dry all right here. And I did do my skin prep, whereas this one, I'm not as dry, but I'm still getting a little bit of dryness right around my um, facial hair area above my lip. So, so far, so good. Same finish for both. They're both a little drying for me, so... I mean, that's just me personally. Like I said, I'm more combo skin. Next, we're going to move on, and I'm actually going to do a little bit of my powder. So I have to use a very specific powder because it has skincare in it, and right now my skin's going crazy because of some new things I've been trying. And this is my Artiste brush that I've used. You can also check out the review of that. It's on the app, guys, so check it out, and make sure you tell your friends. And remember, too, this is our first video, so we have a lot of room to grow. Okay, so I feel a little bit better. Now I'm going to take my bronzer, and you guys don't have to use the bronzer the way I do it. I actually, for me, I need warmth all over my skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this bronzer, and I'm just going to kind of tap lightly with a fluffy brush, just to give me a little bit more color. And this is one of my favorite brushes. Um, I hope I get to do a review soon on them. Um, I love the Real Technique brush line. It's very comparable to some of like your more higher end brushes without really breaking the bank. Okay. 
Yes, for being golden. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move on and we're going to do a little bit of a touch up of my brow. So let me see what brush I have ready today. And I'm just taking a little bit of a gel right now just to kind of touch up my brow a little bit. I'm gonna grab my mirror. And I'm just gonna keep them very, very just natural. I'm not gonna really style them. I wanna do that in another video with one of my favorite brow mascaras that I'll show you. So then next we're going to actually move on and I'm going to do a little contour and highlight. So I'm actually going to use eyeshadow from the naturals palette from profusion beauty i got this during holiday time um like a year and a half ago and it was like 9.99 so i was like yes i need it but 9.99 it's very great and i'm going to take a shadow and because i have a little bit of a warmer complexion i'm just going to take the color cozy and zing and mix them together and then i'm actually going to contour my face And today I'm just doing a very soft natural contour. Notice I go from the end of my natural hairline kind of in, but that's just me personally. It's what I do in a lot of my clients too and it simplifies things for them. So for like my older gals that are my everyday beauties, I kind of show them how to do this. And everyone contours, you know, their own style and method is what I'm finding in the beauty industry. I always say there's a method to the madness. We all get there somehow with the look. Some of us, we just do it a little differently. Yes, I did the fish lips. I hate when people do it, but sometimes it just happens. Okay. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did fish lips again. So now we're going to move on to our highlighter. We actually chose two. We did the Bobbi Brown versus the Shimmer Strips by Physicians Formula. Now, I chose the bronze in the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. It's actually one of my faves. This is a passion product of mine. And then the reason why I chose this one, it's actually a dupe of both. It's like, I think, the blush or, or rose of Bobbi Brown and then the bronze. Because the top portion would be like your blush and the bottom half is the bronze. And I hope to actually review that sometime too. So I'll look into the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in the rose and see if we can do another one of these. So I'm going to open up my Physician's Formula. Doo -doo -doo. Oh my goodness, guys, the package is so cute. Bloop, brand new. Now, a little secret of mine is I actually take an angled blush brush from my highlight and my favorite makeup artist in New York City who like kind of trained me, taught me to do and think of a triangle of light or area of light. So this is more so for my everyday beauties. This is not for the ones that are trying to get the Kim Kardashian look or anything like that. I take a little bit of the fluffy blush brush, I angle, and I hit just perfectly right above, kind of thinking of doing almost like a triangle or a check mark for me. See how much more forward my cheeks look? Gives me a little healthy glow. And I kind of switched sides. So I did this um, economical price one, Physician's Formula, on the side that I did all my mask, cos uh, my prestige cosmetics. So just bear with me there, guys. I'm throwing you off your game. Yes, honey. Now let's do the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick on the other side. Sometimes it's fun just to mix it up too, you know, like your high-end cosmetics with your uh, mask cosmetics. <sighs> Guys, the Shimmer Brick. Now, one little secret about the Shimmer Brick is it's actually best to leave this little styrofoam piece on your Shimmer Brick because it helps kind of keep it in place because the product is like twice baked. So I'm going to lift mine. And look at those colors, though. Are they so beautiful? I mean, look. Guys, 
It's literally the perfect dupe. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to just swirl in my shimmer brick. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. And you know what? The shimmer brick's going on the nose. Since I have a matte product to begin with, it's actually kind of great to put a little shimmer in there so I don't look too, too flat and dry. So, I'm feeling a little naked and flat, so I'm definitely going to pop on a little something something. So, we're going to take that natural eye palette again, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just take, like, a light brown almost. So, let's do attached. Okay, and I'm just kind of going to blend in the crease just a little bit. And I kind of like to neutralize the lid, too, because I'm going to just blend a whole bunch of fabulous colors on that. So blend in the crease, windshield wipers, do, 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 do. This is another Real Technique brush, which I love. And sometimes I use brushes that aren't specifically for eyeshadows as shadow brushes. So like concealer brushes and things, just because that's just me. Every artist and person is different. You work with the tools you have. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and move on. And let's do a little bit of, let's do something fun. I think we need some shimmer, guys. It's fall. Let's do Excited. And this is from the Profusion Naturals palette. So I'm going to just tap a little bit of the Excited all over my lower lid. Just to give it a little light. <laughs> oh, guys. This color is pretty. And I didn't prime, there's a reason. I want to show you guys a primer in a future video. So I want to save that for later. Yes, I got to save some tricks for you guys. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take a little bit of another color. And let's just say outgoing. And we're going to take outgoing just on the outer portion. And notice how I'm just blending it very lightly in and into the crease a little bit. Same thing, outgoing. Mm hmm honey now I don't know about you all but I kind of want to go back with excited and just build a little bit more right in there Ooh, let's get a little more excited in there yes okay then obviously you can line if you want I'm kind of this weirdo that sometimes I forget to line or don't line, but I'm just going to do a subtle little line. Let's do zing. And we're going to need the big boy mirror for this. So I'm just going to take it right along my lash line. Okay, we're going to do that again. And the color was zing. And that's from the Profusion Natural Palette. And this is just my everyday look. I'm not going to do anything crazy today. Maybe next time. We'll step it up. Okay. And last but not least, we're going to use my favorite mascara. Don't laugh when you see it. Um, it's not made anymore. It's actually a light-up mascara. And it actually has a built-in mirror. So I'm just going to use that. Well, let's peel off the sticker on the built-in mirror. Come on now, Michael tell you what. We're going to use the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick Mirror. We like her. And then finally, I'm just going to pop on a little gloss, and we're going to do Just for Giggles and Wiggles. Hmm. I think I just want a little color, so I'm going to do a little bit of the Sephora Collection gloss. Just so I don't feel so flat. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's a natural, 
pretty color. So it doesn't look too overpowering. And last but not least, I am going to do a little more powder down on my neck just so I don't feel so washed out today when I go out. Okay, and notice it's a fluffy, fluffy brush. And I just want to tap a little bit more. And we're going to take our highlighters again. So I'm going to go back over. Remember, this side we did the Physician's Formula. I changed it up on you. <gasps> Guys, I didn't see this. But on the Physician's Formula, at the bottom, it actually has this. This whole little thing opens up. And it has a little mirror. Which I think is so cute and convenient. Oh yeah, and let's go back with the Bobbi Brown, and we really need to get some shimmer there. Mm -hmm. So here's the deal, let's review. So on this side of the face, because I threw you guys off a little bit, we started out with the NYX Angel Veil Primer which is going to be the dupe of the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, which is going to be right here. Dupes, dupe, dupe, dupe. And so far, feeling-wise, um, I do think those are both great dupes of one another. Uh, they are a matte finish, so I am going to throw that out there. So if you are a combo, or um, you're more on the combo dry side, just practice... Uh, caution with this just so you don't have like the textured skin that I'm getting down here which means the product is a little too dry for my skin then we're going to move on to the hourglass immaculate which is on this side of the face and then we actually have the rimmel the rimmel which I cannot find is actually on this side of the face I'm going to be very honest I'm going to say the immaculate actually has a a better feel to it. The Rimmel definitely is showing more texture, which is kind of not really winning me over. So I hate to say it. I think I said it earlier, I wouldn't pay the $54. In the end, after it sits for a minute or two, it's worth spending the $54. So, so far, yeah. And then lastly, we did the shimmer brick on this side of the face. And then we did the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips. So I'm going to be honest, it's a tie between the two. They're both great. I, I can't say, hey, go spend, you know, 40 some dollars on this and, oh, go spend $12.99 on this. In all honesty, either one, you can't go wrong. They're both giving me the same effect that I want. They both feel good. I look good. Um, it's just really... Do you want a prestige brand or do you want a mass market brand? They both do the same job. So in the end, guys, in all honesty, this video was about the Hourglass Mineral Veil, um, the Angel Veil, the Bobbi Brown, the Physician's Formula, and then the Immaculate and the Rimmel. So I'm going to announce my actual choices. So I will say that the winner of the primer would definitely be... The Angel Veil, I think, um, in all honesty, yes, the SPF is a great factor that the Mineral Veil has, but to me, I'd rather spend 6 or $7 for a primer than 54 especially if I'm just wearing it for a look or wearing it for like five hours a day, and that's it. So if you're not an avid makeup wearer, go with this. Or if you're maybe more cautious about ingredients and things like that, you might want to go with the Hourglass. However, NYX, you won me over this round. Moving on to foundation, I have to give it to you. I'm so sorry to do this to you guys, but the Immaculate, you win. So yes, $54 price tag. However, she's worth it. So even on my combo skin, do you guys see how like nice that looks? It looks amazing. So I'm happy. This is a little more dried in texture if you look at it. And that's the Rimmel. So that's why the Rimmel is not going to actually be the best, best dupe. It is a dupe. However, it just doesn't give you that same finish. And lastly, we are going to celebrate our tie. Tie! 
So guys, I mean, look at this. This is Physician's Formula. This is Bobby Brown. Like, I will say I did go a little bit heavier on the Physician's Formula just because it had so many more colors. I'm impressed with both. Hands down, they both win. So I hope you liked my first review. Um, we have more to go and grow from here. Make sure you download the Brandify app and make sure you follow us on Instagram. Also, if you're curious, I'm the beauty guru to you on Instagram. My Instagram is a little hard to find, but if you find me, follow me. I post a lot of fun things and there's more to come, guys. All right, you Brandify beauties, have a great day. Bye-bye.